lone piper marked the hour the first British soldier landed in France 75 years ago, playing atop the remnants of an artificial harbour on the Normandy coast on Thursday. That really was rather wonderful. The poignant moment began a day of events to commemorate D-Day, the Allied invasion of France that would turn the tide of World War II. Aging veterans and world leaders gathered at Vers-sur-Mer to inaugurate a British memorial to those soldiers who lost their lives. Here in Normandy, we will always remember their courage, their commitment, their conviction. And to our veterans here in Normandy today, I want to say the only words we can. Thank you. And a service of remembrance was held in Bayeux Cathedral. US President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also attended ceremonies paying tribute to the courage and sacrifice of the Allied troops. The lives that they gave, the sacrifice that they made, did not just win a battle. It did not just win a war. Those who fought here won a future for our nation. They won the survival of our civilization. And they showed us the way to love, cherish, and defend our way of life for many centuries to come. More than 150,000 soldiers landed on a 50-mile stretch of coastline under a hail of German artillery and machine gun fire. Under the cover of darkness, thousands of Allied paratroopers jumped behind Germany's coastal defences. The largest seaborne invasion in history that paved the way for Western Europe's liberation from Hitler's forces. Then, as day broke, warships pounded German positions before hundreds of landing craft disgorged the infantry troops. Tens of thousands perished on the beaches and in the months-long battle that followed in Normandy. 75 years on, a day of remembrance to honour those soldiers, many of whom were still boys when they waded ashore.